we play the start of every episode, you know all the rhymes. We'd like a mad and Stephen, and even Gavin too. Oh, you know all the words, now come on, sing along. Come on, come on you. Regular, regular, regular features. A regular, regular, regular features. A regular, regular, regular features. A regular features of show. This is the regular features theme tune, but you already know that. You've heard it hundreds of times. It's been at the start of every single episode. Come on, baby, stand up and clap. Sing and clap and clap and clap. Clap your hands and sing and clap and clap along and sing and clap. This is the bit where the steel drums kick in. You've heard it all so many times. Sing along with the theme tune. The regular features podcast. Regular, regular, regular features. The regular, regular, regular features. The regular, regular, regular features. The regular features of show. Regular, regular, regular features. Regular, regular, regular features. And the, the biggest cheer there was the fact it wasn't the full version. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, fuck, it's not the eight minute one. I'm not staying here for this. I know I paid for it, but fuck this. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the regular features live show. What we're doing? Hey, right now. What number are we? 156. Nope. I think it's <laughs> Put back in your box, Steve. 156. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wrong. What, what is it then, Gav? I had think it's 157. Oh, that was fucking that was good. We got there in the end. <laughs> it's going to be yeah, a lot we of did. fun. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> um, I've got the last ever regular features badges in my pocket. So if anybody thinks they deserve them, buy me a drink after the show. And then, <laughs> and then you can just have one. It's a, doesn't matter. <laughs> like, as I explained, buy me a drink after the show. Doesn't matter. Sh- <laughs> um, if you buy me a drink after the show. But, Thank you very much for coming every time. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Guys, today is the first day of the rest of your life, and I'm so glad that you've all joined us here tonight. These guys, they went through a program a little while ago, and they changed people. You know, their lives before, we'll get to that in a second, but their lives before were pretty horrible. I've so got a, I've got a beard now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing great. So obviously most of you will be familiar with uh, my chain of restaurants, Onion Fuck, also uh, the Onion Fuck Blast Tube. Fantastic, it's been the kind of gift of 2015 and 14. And uh, recently, the author of Onion Fuck Yourself in Just Six Weeks. And Come on, who is that? It's Matt, it's Matt, Matt Lee's author oh, right. of Onion, <laughs> Onion Fuck Yourself in Just Six Weeks. Also, Onion Fuck Yourself on the Inside, a spiritual road to healing. Um, but yeah, I'm just really glad you guys are here today to learn the teachings of Onion Fuck. So, you know, who here is ready to Onion the Fuck themselves? I'm ready. Yeah? yeah. Fantastic. I've amazing. purged my soul of cynicism. I'm ready to onion fuck myself in any way you see. You're going to onion fuck yourself into a better person. I'm d- right here. I hope so. And right now. I hate to think I was doing it to make myself terrible. Now what are onions <laughs> in about? <laughs> Who here has seen the film Shrek? It's yeah. a piece of shit. Oh. A piece hey, of shit. Hey, hey, hey. I was just going to say, my mate animated the bit where he fell through the roof at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Yeah. <laughs> All this stuff about onions having layers... Yes, but all of the layers are identical. The thing about onions is that onions, is they're not about layers, they're about, they're about tears. They're about fighting through the tears and coming out of it a better person. Could you just like to tell us a little bit about the sort of person you were before you discovered onion fuck? Well, I didn't cry so much. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I was storing it all in, wasn't I? I, I don't know. I, I haven't even given a chance to properly uh, if, prepare my improvisation. <laughs> <laughs> You were you a mess. You said to you before we went on, like, Log, are you all right to say a story? Yeah, I'll fucking do it. No. <laughs> I said it's all right to jam an onion in my mouth. There's a difference. <laughs> Log's ready to get onion fucks right now. Fuck it, put it in my mouth. We have one of these. On. This is an official onion fuck onion. RRP of six ninety nine. And uh, yeah, so Log, you ready? You how ready to get onion fucks? How do you want me? Would it be better if I put the chair away and just landed on Bend my knees? Bend over. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! This is how you change things, guys. This is how you change things. And it's amazing that you're all here today to, to take that first step and just, just start onion fucking yourself every day. I, I wonder if I can still talk. 
You I've, got an, I've got an issue with the way the Canal Cafe Theatre running the thing. We're not allowed to sell T-shirts, but you can put an onion in a 42-year-old man's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> What the fuck is that about? Who would like a limited edition onion fart? Yes, onion. I'm sorry. I, I don't yeah. take an onion out of first my step, mouth lightly, step. but I am 40 <laughs> fucking one years old, guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These are tart onions. <laughs> I've got a single question for you guys. What is this? What do you think this is? Shallot. It's a shit onion. <laughs> All right? What's your name, sir? Rufus. Rufus is a shit onion. You don't want to be like Rufus. All right? <laughs> you don't want to be like this. What is it? It's just a small onion. It's not very big. It won't make you cry very much. You will not be a better person. How has he got one in his mouth already? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm not. Has he actually genuinely gone in your bag and robbed the fucking onion out of there? No, I gave him one. Oh. I gave him one. <laughs> I'm on your side, bro. I have one, one more. Who would like to change their life today right now? I'll keep mine. Right in. now. Here you are. Lay in the front. Fantastic. <laughs> eat it. I mean, <laughs> don't actually eat it. <laughs> We're not insured. It's exciting that so I many of you here today. I said we shouldn't let him go first. <laughs> oh, God, this is exciting, though. Somebody, somebody now, right now, can onion fuck themselves into a better, a better life. There's such a thing as a mild onion, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't know. It's, it, the visual joke would be the same. You couldn't, you couldn't put a mild onion in my mouth. <laughs> this is... A... <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna onion fuck myself right now. <laughs> but I want you guys to come along with me on this journey. I want you guys to repeat after me. That repeat the mantras. Stinks. Okay? <laughs> I know I've been on London Underground, I've got some very funny looks. <laughs> I will onion fuck myself today. I will onion fuck myself until I am a better person. Onions are the only way to personal salvation. Fucking oh, hell. Jesus Christ. Onion! Onions! Okay. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, I'm dribbling all over is myself. It <laughs> <laughs> is it obvious that Matt is the only one out of all four of us that doesn't have his significant other here this evening? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll fuck any wherever, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I love onions! <laughs> That's great, guy. You're going to have a brilliant life. Everything's going to be better for you now. You're just you're going to be rolling the, with the punches and taking the money. And yeah! Hey! <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> well, my lips are numb now. That was a fucking potent onion. <laughs> I'll tell you what it was. It was a fucking raw onion. <laughs> I didn't get that. What was that about? <laughs> that was just weird. You can do a f is your feature now? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what that was. It was motivational. It's a fucking really bad... I know I, it's obvious to say because there's a lot of onions out, but there's a really bad smell of onions here right yeah, Mate, I just ate an onion. It's not good. Don't look at me like I'm the fucking mental one. God, if I just ate an onion, it's going to smell like onions. I'm, I'm just going to take my onion it. off stage, so it, like, if, if, if you're listening to this at home and I don't say anything for 10 seconds, don't panic. I'm just <laughs> off stage. Who'd like me to throw a shallot at them? <laughs> I'm so willing. He said he yes was, before I'd even he, finished that he was, question. He was way too up. That's a man yeah. who's going to get himself in this trouble. Is it, can you put your hand up so I can see you? That's a man who's already got himself into okay, okay, all okay. the trouble he's going to get himself into. I, Hang on, what? Whoa. Oh. Did I kill why, a man? <laughs> why are you applauding that? Why a is he lighting up a like a lot. Star Wars droid? <laughs> <laughs> is that R2-D2? <laughs> <laughs> he listens to the podcast. <laughs> he doesn't do that noise. <laughs> fucking idiot. Resident Star Wars get out, expert. Get him out. Um, was, that was it. That's, uh, that's genuinely it. <laughs> All right. I don't really know. I don't really know. All right, let's do a jingle then. Yeah. What jingle would you like to hear? Gandalf. 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 <laughs> Log? Give us a Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm Gandalf. And I put a spell on you because you're mine. 
The Mines of Moria, that, that is. is. Yes. Uh, welcome oh. to regular feature. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's quite an impressive job of m mimicking yourself there. I'm going to find my point. I, I couldn't do that in any other voice. It's, um, I'm not flexible. This, yeah. doesn't, this doesn't feature any kind of interaction from you, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I um, gave them onions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give them laughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a fair, it's, a, it's a fair cop. It's a fair cop. Ballsy. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys know this about me, uh, but I'm Welsh. Oh. I know I hardly ever mention it. That makes uh, a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've been in London. I worked out on the 29th of September. I would have been in London in eight years. So you're not uh, really Welsh anymore, are you? No, it doesn't matter. Thanks. Thanks. Right. <laughs> exactly what I look like. <laughs> you fucking ood an onion. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I do, I love London, but I like to keep in touch with Wales. And the way that I keep in touch with Wales is not by ringing my parents or my friends or anything like that is by going on um, about nine, uh, yeah, like nine South Wales Police Facebook pages. <laughs> <laughs> because whatever you think about the South Wales Police, and I'm sure you've all had a really deep think about the South Wales Police, whatever you think about them, they're prolific on Facebook. <laughs> they are prolific. And uh, I, I realized this maybe about like four years into being in London, I was just like, oh, they know about Facebook now. That's amazing. Um, so I started reading their posts. And there's amazing stuff on there. Most of the time, and this happens more than you'd think, and more than definitely should for a professional Facebook page, they just post up a picture, but the com the like the the name of the picture is just what the name of the file name is. So it'll be like live lounge underscore toilets four brackets three. <laughs> like well, no, that's live lounge camera four, but why is that the third picture? And it's just a girl just fucking off her tits. <laughs> um but the best thing about it is, obviously, it's a public Facebook page, and, you know... Well, so just, like, open cases. They're like, look at this, lol. Still investigating. No, but... no, no. I, th <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mo mostly it's, like, pictures of, like, uh, middle-aged men just pointing at things. <laughs> like, hang on, hang on, this is the it's... police. Right? Yeah, yeah. Are they supposed to be, like... Were they pointing no, 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 no. It's not the police. It's the South Wales police. <laughs> <Were> they... <laughs> Are they pointing difference. at evidence? Yeah, no, so one of them is just like, uh, about maybe like a 38-year-old man just pointing at a gate going, in, like, listen, like Abu Ghraib. <laughs> <laughs> in total, five kissing gates and one larger gate, as well as fencing, have been installed to try and reduce long-term measures preventing vehicles from ripping up turf. That was one of their things. Uh, I was going to do an image with it, but... Someone pointing at some turf. Just couldn't be asked in the end. I just thought yeah. they were, like, tagging themselves and, like, five kilograms of cocaine in a picture. Like. Hey. The thing is, though, I'd get on board with that. Yeah, That'd no, be really I good. I like that a lot, yeah. That doesn't happen, though. What actually happens is they just post up things that have happened with, like, I guess, like, smaller crimes, you could say. Um, but the best thing about it is, obviously, it's public. So, and as a member of the public, I can... Write whatever I want on there. Um, <laughs> as is your right. <laughs> as is my right as a member of the public. So this is from like back in 2013. Uh, I've been doing it for that long. <laughs> Just to keep connected, you know? I always wonder who the sorts of people are I spend all of their lives on Facebook. Yeah, it's, it's me. You. Well, no, on very specific parts of Facebook, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, so this is back in 2013 anyway. This is their post. <clears throat> We're appealing for information following the theft of a uniform from one of our police cars in Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> the vehicle was broken into and a bag containing police uniform was stolen. No police identification or warrant card was stolen, so don't think that it was. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Any member of the public who wants to check the identity of a police officer should always ask to see identification. Don't put it in our hands if you're going to lose your, what you look like. Um, lose what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like uniform. <laughs> but straight away, so obviously like the police get in their own uniform robbed. It's pretty, that's pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, what was the policeman wearing at the time? <laughs> he was was naked somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, one of them actually goes into there. Um, but there's a bunch so of basically just like comments underneath there. I'll read you out a few of them now. Simon Evans, straight in. Never leave valuables on display. <laughs> <laughs> It's good advice, that. It's good advice. Seriously careless. You know, the Welsh police could learn a lot from the police. <laughs> Ju Julie's in soon after that. How embarrassing for the police. OMG, lol. <laughs> Fair point. David Jones, this is serious. Is that gross misconduct? Why have they got spears in the car more to the point? 
<laughs> Imagine Maybe it's uh, like a woof style situation. <laughs> <laughs> in which the policeman occasionally transforms into a dog and needs to leave spur sets of clothes around the place. And he turns up and realizes someone's robbed his yeah. black and white. He's like, fuck, I gotta walk around with this dog for the rest of the day. <laughs> the kid from Woof is gonna be in his, what, late 30s now? Yeah, it's He's probably, probably working probably with the Welsh copper. police. Probably yeah. a copper. Um, yeah, so they David probably, jo- The clothes probably weren't even in the car. He was probably just in the park and he just had to in make a bush up this somewhere. story to be like, ah, yeah. oh, fuck, how am I gonna explain that I left all my police? No, they were definitely in the car. They were in the car. I can't yeah. tell them I'm a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so David has obviously said, imagine if someone gets fooled by a fake police officer now. So I come in and say, I'm with David on this, trust no one. <laughs> <laughs> Julie's back. Oh no, hang on. Dawn comes in. The police won't do anything. The person who done it got a good alibi. That sounds like she knows Alib- them. Alibi's got four L's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but also, alibis. I love that. She's just like, they got a good alibi, police won't do anything. She's like, who are you giving tips to? <laughs> It's like, it's my mate, but you're not going to catch him. Um, so I replied to this with just the future and a question mark. And then the image that I posted up was of four police officers. And they're next to uh, someone who's a police officer. But the face is Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Hyten soon after that says, I hope you don't mind me mentioning this, but would like to warn the general public of my experience this Saturday just gone. While doing DIY jobs, my house phone rang and it was an Asian gentleman ringing me from his call center in India telling me that my computer was being spied on. <laughs> he goes on for way longer than that. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> but I've cut it out because you don't need to hear that. Um, I read that for you. <laughs> so I replied to him, what DIY jobs were you doing if you don't mind me asking, Ray? <laughs> Glennis, Glennis Thomas quick to reply, how is that relevant, Ray and Gav? <laughs> <laughs> You're dragging Ray down with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I reply, well, I only ask because I've got some water damage on my coffee table <laughs> and I haven't the faintest idea how to repair it. Any ideas, Ray? <laughs> it doesn't seem to have penetrated too deep, brackets, yet. <laughs> I can pinpoint the time in your life when you wrote this because I remember you actually had some water damage on your coffee table that you were well, trying to repair. Well, I had some damage on my coffee table. It wasn't water, but I mean... <laughs> it sounds like a comedy lie, but you are actually genuinely talking strange on, on Facebook in the hope of getting DIY tips. <laughs> I was there already, and it seemed Who like you could help you? me. Uh, Ray comes back. I was paying Gav, mucker, which is like a South Wales thing for like friend and stuff, I don't know. Uh, Glennis comes back, who cares if you're painting? This is serious. <laughs> but she puts a question mark at the end of serious. This is serious. This is serious. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> this is all still happening in the comments thread under the missing uniform. Exactly, story, right? yeah. Okay. I mean, the uniform, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I say to Ray, sounds like someone's got something to hide, right, Ray? <laughs> Ray replies, PMSL. Oh, Ray's on board. He's pissing himself up. <laughs> uh, I say, I bet Glennis is putting that copper's uniform on. <laughs> and off out doing crime right now. <laughs> and it's not often that I'm stopped in my tracks, but I do. I was about this. <laughs> Glennis comes back. Why would I be doing crime? Question mark. If I'm in copper's clothes. <laughs> and I was like, do you know what, Glennis? That's enough of that. <laughs> You've won that one. Uh, this, is, this is another one. Um, so this is something they put up, I think in like 2014, like the summer. South Wales police can confirm that officers are not looking for anybody in relation to yesterday's incident, which occurred in Taft Street. Hashtag Pont <laughs> <laughs> Officers are satisfied that no crime was committed against the man who was taken to hospital. <laughs> I replied, and I was the first comment as well. You know, like those fucking knobheads on like YouTube comments were like first. They're like, I was the first fucking to see this. Yeah, I felt like that <laughs> <laughs> when I replied. I was like, "Cheers for letting me know." Can I ask what the incident was? <laughs> and this is one of the amazing Facebook pages. They don't do it anymore because I know <laughs> from experience. But they used to reply. They used to reply directly to you, even if you weren't being a dick. That they would reply to you. We've closed the case. Yeah, that's fine, me. I just want to know what went on. <laughs> Phil comes in. Yeah, who was taken to the hospital? <laughs> I say, is he all right? Concussion, stabbing? I mean, what are we talking here? <laughs> <laughs> 
Phil comes back, probably a stabbing. There's always stabbings in Ponty. <laughs> Do you know now, Phil? I, mean, I don't. I don't fucking know. Who oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and they don't like. None of these are actually. Some of there's a parallel <laughs> podcast telling this story somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say to Phil, "Is there Jesus? What a world! I'm afraid to go outside some days." <laughs> but the police, the police reply saying the man is recovering in hospital and there hasn't been a stabbing this year in Pont de Prix. <laughs> <laughs> but this was like November. I said, that's a good run. I said, what about last year? <laughs> <laughs> and a girl called Natalie, something I'm not gonna say no. The girl called Natalie comes in and says, there were loads. <laughs> <laughs> there were loads. <laughs> like just fucking slinging the police under the bus. <laughs> I said, were they? Glad I never went outside. <laughs> <laughs> the police say, our knife crime statistics were the best in the district's history last year. You can find the report on our website. Like, the thing that I think about that is, they never even bothered to link to it. They were like, you can find it on the website. It's like, I'm pretty sure that's hard, gonna be hard to find. Like, on your fucking shit bag Did website. Did you try? No, of course I didn't. <laughs> it's front page, like, check out our cool stats. So they're going on about these best statistics. I said, <laughs> latest stabbings. <laughs> yeah. I know all about them. Well, there wouldn't be any, so it'd be that's really hard to find. Yeah. I said, the best they've ever been. Like, the number was the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I said, so the most stabbings that's ever been in Ponty. And you're what, proud of it. Yeah, that's yeah. the best. What a mess. You broke a new record for stabbings. So we should do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie replies to me, though, yeah, but what, though, Gav? <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm on a task force. <laughs> Fucking stop stabbing to Pond and Breathe. I haven't lived here for about eight years. <laughs> what do we do next, Gav? <laughs> we gotta clean up Pony. <laughs> I say, I don't know. <laughs> You're an inspiration. Everyone gets those little knives you get on planes, I suppose. Only way. <laughs> but the police come back. First of all, saying, here's the link to the report, and they put the URL. Oh, that's nice of them. But then I, like, this is the best thing. They reply, like, instantly. Because I think, basically, what they did was they were like, that wasn't good enough. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna get the URL, and I go back. By the time they get back there, we've already moved on. They're like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> so it's like, here's the thing to report. If you bother reading it, you'll see our officers worked brilliantly to keep your family safe last year. I just replied. If you bother to read it. Yeah. That's a really snarky tone yeah. for well, the no, police. Come on, like, we've Every... all worked on websites, and it's really annoying when you just get arseholes being like, well, if you did your job properly. Imagine if it was like whoa, you whoa, weren't whoa, 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 whoa. and you were the police. I'm, You'd be like, I'm just off. worried about my nan's safety. I'm not an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking stabbings left, right, center. If like wasting Southwest Police time was a I'm crime, you'd be in a lot of trouble. Time. I'm wasting. This is the best thing. I know you might think I'm wasting police time. I'm not. I'm not because ringing nine nine nine. Wasting Welsh police time isn't a crime. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you finished that joke. I want that. that a, I, I want that on a fucking t-shirt. <laughs> yes. No, it's, I, I, you deserve laugh. I'm that. glad you I got it. I thought I'd reiterate it's it like, for you. <laughs> teamwork. So he posted up his thing. I said, I'm not reading that. It's well long. <laughs> Irene, a new person, if you you can't win. They give you the facts and you just ignore them. But Phil from ages ago comes back and goes, it is long. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that he's ready. That's good. <laughs> uh, this is my last one then. Um, I've got way more, but they involve pictures and stuff. And I thought, I, I just couldn't be asked. Not good for podcasts, are they? Well, I just couldn't be asked doing it. Says the man who ate a fucking onion on a stage. <laughs> <laughs> Swings around about. <clears throat> Here we how go. is how is the onion taste going down? Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it actually That's works. The thing about raw onions, they hang around. They do. <laughs> they do. It's got like it's, it actually goes quite well with lager. It's, it's all right. Um, I, I would yeah, bet it goes well, well with anything. anything. And I feel quite invigorated by it. I'm not sure if it was the onion or the the kind of the uh, adrenaline of standing on a stage and eating an onion and thinking, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> but I, I feel good. So onions, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, kind of a toned down version of your previous thing. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ones who were already eating their onions were like, what? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of coming off the onion now, you know, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this is my last interaction with the South Wales Police. Two men have been charged following a robbery at the M&V convenience store in Victoria Street, my steg, at the weekend. The incident happened at 10, 16 a.m. on Saturday, 10th of August. Kyle Lloyd, age 23, from Port Talbot, and Wayne Anthony Harris, 37, 36 from my stig have been charged and are due to appear at Bridgend Magistrate Court today. 
Again, I was the first one in, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> never trust a man called Wayne is what I think we can all take from this. <laughs> Claire Heal, but no, I'm not gonna say your name. Honestly, you just said it. <laughs> Honestly, the like action. Yeah, you got good. you got two likes from the, two likes on that. Two likes for oh, don't trust yeah. Wayne. There's a lot of people out there who don't like Wayne. Okay, someone called Wayne. Anyway. Claire comes in. My dad is Wayne and a brilliant man. <laughs> <laughs> not all Waynes. <laughs> never, never judge by name. I say like FFS. Really, just like just be like saying never trust someone from my stig or any valleys and. Five exclamation points. Uh. Gail M. Davis. The, oh, shit. <laughs> Gail something, we don't know. <laughs> They'll do it again. Not everyone learns from their mistakes. Albie. Especially Wayne's. Yeah, well, no. Insatiable fucks. Uh, Rachel Ann. Oh, fucking hell, stop reading the fucking names, man. <laughs> I'll edit this one, shall I? <laughs> Rachel says. Well said, Claire. It's like saying don't trust anyone called David because my ex of a week has done more damage to me in that week than he has in 13 years he was with me. Oh. And his name isn't even David. <laughs> <laughs> How unfair is that? But I'm not judging all men the same as him, let alone the same name, because people have a bad experience with one individual. It doesn't mean to say the next man with the same name is going to do the same. Love heart. I'd like the Southwest Police Facebook group. Also, if we're going by likes, she had one. I had four on my first one. So. Yeah, it's the first four, comment. Shut up, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> she went really personal with that one, didn't she? Yeah. That happens a lot in South Wales, man. They haven't gone much <laughs> on, so they're just like, oh, fucking South Wales police, I'll fucking do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna slag off the guy who just slept with my sister. Hopefully she'll be on the South Wales police Facebook page as well. <laughs> my mam will see it, and then Christmas will be ruined forever. Or maybe she thinks that like <laughs> adultery is a crime. She's just dropping She's in, there, in yeah. the hope that Actually, to be honest, like I haven't printed them out, but a lot of the, <laughs> a lot of the ones like just just like one post from the police be like, do not report crimes on this page. Because <laughs> <laughs> people are just like, fuck, uh, I've, I've been, been robbed. robbed. <laughs> They're on Facebook, quick. Yeah. <laughs> in a reply to a comment. <laughs> <laughs> Urgent emergency crime. Yeah. <laughs> and also, Rachel, I agree with you. Wayne's fine. <laughs> um, Sydney comes in. Never trust a man called Wayne. How ridiculously stupid is that? How can people think this is real? Like, I mean... It's such Sarah's, a dumb thing to say. Sarah says, wankers. I, I don't know if she's talking to me. What? <laughs> or she's just talking about Wayne's. the crime in general. All right? Uh, Sydney says, if that was the case, where you could judge someone by their name, then I wouldn't be trusting anyone with the name of Murphy. <laughs> oh, oh, take that. A you few, got gaved. A few IRA members have that surname. Luckily, I'm not that thick. <laughs> 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 Oh, what do you think about that, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> as a member, as your dad, as a member of the IRA. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, da, not dad, then. Yeah, it's good. That really relates yeah. to me as an Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> Did she just say that you're not as fit as the R IRA? No. She I said, that, if you so. have the surname Murphy, Thick. you are more likely she's, to yeah. be an IRA terrorist. I thought she's like, oh, you might be an IRA terrorist, but you're not fit enough, because I've seen someone they are fucking smoking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bad people like, but... No, you I can judge people by their names, though. Well, I think she's judged. Is yeah. the thing about people called Dennis are more likely to be dentists? <laughs> <laughs> That's a real thing. <laughs> That's a real thing that I made. I read up. it in a book. <laughs> I, I always thought that Simon was a gay name. Do we, so can I test that out here? Simon is a gay name. Do we have any Simons? This then? isn't a terribly good sample size, but uh, we got one. Gay cousin for Simon. Gay cousin. Well, proven. We'll are you gay? This guy with a hand up. No. Are you, Are you sure? sure? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not fucking out people. Well, that's still better than one in ten, which uh, I think still my, my theory that's still right. holds. Yeah. Simon, very gay name. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> um, so she says a few RRA members have that surname. Luckily, I'm not that thick to judge people by by their names. Like you sounds like you are a bit thick. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm just going on the evidence I've been given. And the evidence says people call Wayne seal bomb convenience stores. I'm only human, guys. <laughs> Sarah says, what about Kyle, who was age 23, if you remember, from Port Talbot? Yeah. He stole something, too. <laughs> and you might be thinking, she's got me there. 
How are you going to get yeah, out of this one, Gav? Yeah, but he was only 23 and Wayne is 36, so probably forced him into doing it. Classic Wayne move. <laughs> You're saying Wayne influenced Kyle? Yeah. Because nice. Wayne is 36 and Kyle is 23. He's a bigger boy. He's bigger. Yeah. Um, so then, but then, like, it's not often that I stop doing these things. But... <laughs> it's not, no. But I did on this oh, after a bit. I mean, this, yeah. I said, Claire says, you say my father's a thief. You better not. Oh. I he said, stole the stars from the sky. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I said, what's his name? It better not be Wayne. <laughs> and Claire said, Wayne. <laughs> oh. Drop mic. Yeah. So I said, oh yeah, you did say. <laughs> Claire, well. I go, well, yeah, if he's called Wayne, I'm going to have to A on the side of caution and say, <laughs> keep an eye on him around your valuables. <laughs> Claire's not happy with this. <laughs> oh. She like, says, don't say that about my father. Well, just to be aware. Not accusing him of anything, just saying he's... Keep an eye. Just keep an eye out on him. I keep an eye on you guys, because I think you might be criminals. I love you. Yeah, you don't think yeah. we are. Just don't completely trust you. Never let your guard down. Precisely. Well, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. I mean, anyone could be a thief, right? Yeah. But especially if you call Wayne. Hmm. We haven't got any Waynes in here, have we? we? Only Waynes. Good. No, because it's, it's not nice 1992. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend called Wayne in school, and he got his, he's got his hand stuck in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, stuck in the oh, chair, stuck Wayne. In the chair, Wayne. <laughs> I had, I had a friend at school called Wayne Radford, and he was the only boy in my year accused of shagging a cat. Oh. <laughs> I like how you say like only, like he was the only one. Like I know in your school you had multiple <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's stood the, alone. That's the biggest. The proudest thing about Arnold Nottinghamshire is we only had one boy per year. <laughs> 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 okay. Wayne's so are getting a pretty bad rap. Front yeah, I'm sorry, police. Wayne. The stats were fantastic. <laughs> Look at our stats. Only one yeah. boy shagging cat. Uh, sorry, oh, this is... We've, we've installed a local municipal cat. Just <laughs> <laughs> to ensnare Wayne. <laughs> Just take out all your anger on him. For fuck's sake, Wayne. <laughs> I can't get over from early the idea of like the police having traditional clickbait tactics to try and get people to look at police statistics and being like, no one got stabbed in 2014. You won't believe what happened next. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did happen next? But also then I didn't click on it. We're like, just look at it. <laughs> look at it, because I'm going to get in trouble if you don't. going to get in trouble. Um, so yeah, so I said, well, if he's called Wayne, I'm going to have to A on the side of caution and keep an eye on him around your valuables. Claire says, don't say that about my father. And I could feel this draw into an end. So I said, well, technically, your father's name is Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I could feel that was the last thing I should say. And then Sydney comes back in. And remember, Sydney earlier was not on my side. Sydney was one of the people who was just like, you're a fucking idiot. What are you talking about? Yeah. Sydney comes back in, though, and ends this for us. And says, got you there, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sydney. I like that, yeah. yeah I, I like somehow Sydney feel too, a lot yeah. better when you're like harassing strangers on Facebook. When they're Welsh, you mean? <laughs> yeah, when they're Welsh, we fucking deserve it. They shouldn't be Welsh, should they? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Gav, you said all of that. <laughs> do you want to do a jingle while I have a piss? Mm. What? You can't have a piss? Can I not? The people have paid to look at you sitting there. They, what, what? they haven't paid for you to piss. Ever? Come with me to the toilet. <laughs> no, it's all right. I'll hold it in. I'll, One person I'll gets to go it. with log to the toilet. Who wants to go with log to the toilet? <laughs> there you go. He, said, he put his hand up first. Well, you could... get to hold a clump of pubes on either side and try and guide it. <laughs> okay, you've got, in the time it takes us to do a jingle you've to go to the 30 toilet. 30 seconds. Oh, I'm going to do it. Go. What jingle would you like? Quick. I... I think we should do a new one. Walking on the beach. I think we should do about Log doing a piss to the tune of uh, the Jitterbug, uh, uh, the, uh, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. As in Log's gone doing a piss. As in Log's doing a piss. Log's gone doing a piss. Yeah, Log's gone doing a big, big piss. He's going to piss that bad up now. Hope he's not doing a poo now. He's not allowed to do a poo. The toilet doesn't flush so well. Log is in. 
doing a big piss. I hope he comes back with a penis. He better not be doing a poo, because it says on that door not to do a poo. They were really specific about us not doing a poo. He's back. Lying low. I bet fucking Jack D gets to do a shit in there if he wants to. Yeah. Like, they're not saying Jack I, D don't do a shit in there. It's one want... rule about bad ventilation for us, and another for Jack D. <laughs> also, when I had a piss earlier, someone had definitely done a shit in there. Yeah. I'm guessing it was you. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, have, no words, you, I have no words to yeah. deny this, because um, I, I tend to shit before most podcasts. There's a kind of ner <laughs> a nervous trigger. That even when we're doing it in a house, I'll... The oh, shit. We'll sit down and think, I don't, I, don't, I don't need a shit, it's fine. And then I see a microphone and I think, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I, I don't know where it all was before, but suddenly it's all bunched up around my arsehole. <laughs> anyway. I can't imagine Jack D doing a shit mid, uh, mid show, though. Can yeah. you imagine him just looking a bit grumpy and smell back in a minute? Yeah, but if he went off, no, like, there's no, there's no one to sing a song <laughs> while he does a shit. He can afford to hire someone to sing a song about him having a shit. Or he just takes the mic with him, he's like, I'm doing and he'd be better, a shit. Yeah. So he'd have to hire someone, I get it for free. Yeah. <laughs> Still, that. you've got to be quicker, because ad-libbing a song between three people who don't know what the lyrics are going to be is really quite complicated. I think well, we I had heard. great fun, though. I think we had great fun. We'll listen back and be like, can't hear anything. I heard laughter. Was it just indulgent laughter? Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I love it. It was like, well, just like, that's the awkward laughter. Uh, just, yeah, yeah, just, no, definitely not. Yeah. Anyway, what you got, Log? Oh, God. Well, what is this? <sighs> well, a couple, what of, is this? a couple of weeks ago, I asked uh, readers in a mail out newsletter to rewind. One of my features, a regular feature trope that I have, is that I find something that's beyond parody and I uh, try to parody it, which is stupid because things that are beyond parody cannot be parodied. So basically, I'm just stealing a style and uh, pretending it's mine. It's a, it's a really cheap shortcut to comedy, and I advise <laughs> you all to try it. Um, but, so what I did was I invited everyone to try and parody me and say if I could, if you could decide whether the script that I read out was written by me or a mass-edited Google document by all our readers. Does that make sense? No. So, <laughs> you Do you get that? Basically, so I've got, I've basically, I've got yeah. four scripts. Two of them are written by me, and two of them are a Google Doc that I've printed out that was just opened up to be edited by the internet. Yeah. It was written by, by the our internet, listeners. You mean you? Yeah. These you guys. Is there anyone who, in this room who had any hand in this? There a few go. hands. A few hands. Brilliant. Three it's, hands. What you've done <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> but what I will say is that it wasn't. Um, a two-minute self-contained script that I could read out here, <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is um, that's fine. But what I'm going to do is going to read a little bit of it, so I get an idea. Then, basically, just tell me at the end of it that I'm better than our readers. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we have to guess which ones were written by you and which ones are written I by the readers? I, I, think, I think it'll, it'll think be really obvious. Be, I don't think it's going to be able to hide it because what they've done is write a sci-fi story in a sitcom that's. The story of our show. Oh, right, okay. So what I've done is write a two-minute self-contained script, which is just loads of swear words. And I was okay. hoping that you, what you'd do is just loads of swear words and some really puerile <laughs> jokes about anuses farting out loads of stuff into an ashtray or a pram. Um, <laughs> the, two, the two things that is funniest to shit into. <laughs> and um, but yeah, well, let's, let's go on. The first round was sci-fi. And the first sci-fi story was what you wrote. And there's a bit of backstory to this. It's a Doctor Who story. Before we get to this level, here's a level. Um, Steve, we've gone back into Steve's timeline in a, tur in a version of the TARDIS that's called the Turd Piss. Good. <laughs> Strong. It was that guy, the one that's like, yeah. oh, God, He yeah. knows. Oh, God, they're going to read my script. That? That. I, told it, I totally didn't know it was going to happen. You did. That's why he emailed you saying it was going to happen. Everyone here probably knows Steve's... The story about Steve that he was um, locked out of his house and beaten up by bullies while his dad wouldn't let him in because he was swearing. Yeah. So his dad watched him from the top window, yeah. watched his son getting beaten up, so thinking, well, it probably serves you right for swearing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no smoke without fire. So yeah. the first, the previous scene, I'd stopped that from happening, and unfortunately, it robbed Steve from all of his childhood trauma and he'd stopped being funny. I love that. That, that presumes that I am funny. <laughs> Which I like. <laughs>
Uh, so we got back to the turd piss. Uh, we tried to get Steve to put his hand into the thing that controls where we're going. Gav's hand went in by accident, and now we're in Wales. And the thing is called the Fox Capacitor, which is yeah. very good. I like very that good. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right. So here's that. We're alive? Why, it's a miracle. We are in a field, but I do not know why. Matthew, why are we in a field? Oh, he's, <laughs> I, I can't stand. Mate, this oh. isn't a field. This is a valley from my childhood. Where are you going, Gav? We need to sort out Steve. He's already deteriorating, and if we don't correct his timeline, it'll be the end of regular features. Oh, God. I don't even fancy him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Well, since we're here, we might as well have a look about. I think my old primary school is just down the road. They reach a dry stone wall. I think that's a nice detail, a dry stone wall. <laughs> Overlooking a school playground. Most of the children are stood in a circle, cheering something. But our intrepid heroes have no idea what. Hang on, those are my classmates. Look, there's Glenn, Gwen, Gwyn. <laughs> Fuck this person. <laughs> I like it because it's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Glyn, Gareth, okay. other Gavin, Geneth, Gwyneth, Dan. Gav. I'd never be able to get him to read something like this. It's fantastic. Gav, is that a seven-year-old you in the middle? <laughs> yeah, that's me, mate. What, sat, sat on top of a girl pulling her pigtails? Oh, I remember her. She was a right joker. <laughs> Asked to swap me her apple for my wagon wheel. Who the fuck wants a wagon wheel? <laughs> had to show her a thing or two. What, by sitting on it? Hang on, what the fuck is this? <laughs> had, had to show her a thing or two. That's so you, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> he loves whales, he loves hurting women. <laughs> by sitting on her and pulling her hair. Hey, she had it. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's very uncomfortable, actually, yeah. Mate, all the kids are laughing because they think she's a joker, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't like this script. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't write it, so that's me. Wait, hang on. Break. The fucking dude who wrote this isn't in the audience, is he? No, Matt, it could be anyone, Gav. It was open to the internet. Right. Well, <laughs> I've just scanned through rest of this. I get off like completely flawlessly. Matt, you ring your next one then. Were there any repercussions? You didn't get away with this abuse scot free, did you? I mean, the headmaster called me into his office, but we just sort of laughed it off as a bit of bounce. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh at that. <laughs> So that's why he's such an impervious, unaccountable jeb end. <laughs> this, this explains so much. Why Gav is like a bulletproof, gigantic penis. <laughs> <laughs> he I added the funniest see. word to that. Stop talking of my fucking line! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I cannot see was my line. I don't get that. Why can't uh, no, I, I, could, I didn't get that either. So best, that, that's a good point to... I talked over the shittest <laughs> line. <laughs> This is like, we've asked people for a script and what they've given us is an intervention. A, dis <laughs> a really alarming... This is, too, this is too real. <laughs> well, it's what I've got. It's an affirmation of all we are. I hope. My God, I've got what I've written now. Uh, script two. The script My side. Yeah, it's going. This is shit. This is why you don't crowdsource things. Yeah. <laughs> it's because we're better than people. <laughs> It's fine, it's a jumble. We just, as soon as we've had enough of one script, we go to the next. To be honest, we might have enough of log scripts in a minute. Who fucking knows? Who fucking knows? Yeah, we don't know. Be like, oh, this is shit as well. Oh, this is oh, Is it? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> sci fi component. Come on. I, I called it the sci fi component. That's a okay. that's, that's getting into character with the sci fi thing, isn't it? Sorry. Come on, Gab, carry on. I am. Captain's log, my awesome ship, the HMS Clitoris Hernia. <laughs> 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 has been drifting helplessly through space for about three hours now. Jesus, stop recording the same captain's log again and again. It's really passive aggressive. Well, maybe next time you won't walk full pelt to the arse end of fuck knows where when I'm having a wank in the Jeffries tubes. No, no see, really? you fucked that. No, you no, that. that, didn't you? Really? No, you it says it you're up. having a wank in Jeffries tubes. Oh, yeah. And then my line was, <laughs> you mean having a wank in the Jeffries tubes? You mean having a wank in the Jeffrey's tubes? I know what I mean. He doesn't know what he means. Boys. I added in because that's Let's go back to the first script, which is horrible. Matt, carry on regardless. Speaking as a beautiful. Sorry. Speaking as a beautiful female robot, I can only watch bemused as you two behave in this fashion. Oh, Matt Bot Lady, in some ways, you really are the most human one of all. 
That's very true. I mean, in other ways, she's not the most human one of anyone of us, to be honest. Oh, sure. I mean, humans don't drink oil and drop big rusty queefs. <laughs> and, and humans don't explore everything else and divide love by zero. And humans don't take their legs off and sleep in a toy box. <laughs> alert! Alert! I'm sensing a phone call on the massive telly. Hello, my name's Log from that planet down there. We've got a lovely bucket of nuclear crystals down here if you want to beam down and have them. I mean, I wouldn't normally give away such an amazing load of spaceship petrol, but it's customly on this planet to be really kind. Kind enough to suck off a really grumpy Welsh captain. <laughs> oh, yes, we'll suck anything off down here. We? <laughs> and we've all got really short skirts on. You wrote this. <laughs> Can I come? I need the toilet and ours is out of action thanks to a big metal shit, Matt Bot. According to my research, it is very human to do big metal shits and own cats. <laughs> okay, we're coming down. Steve, has this planet gone any reviews on the internet? Uh, just one five-star review written five seconds ago saying how the skirts are even shorter than you <laughs> may have just been told by that hot guy on the telephone and how amazing the blowjobs are. <laughs> Another review just popped out saying they'll stick a finger up your ass and everything. Good enough for me. Let's get down under the fingernails of these alien pricks. <laughs> no, I have to read that again because it's so good. Let's get some brown <laughs> under the fingernails of these alien pricks. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, not read all the stuff, the disgusting stuff that's been well, written all my characters. What, if you're, you're not going to read the script. disgusting stuff, Gav, then you might as well not bother. <laughs> you can't paraphrase not angry. <laughs> I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Scene two. We're on the f we're on the surface of the planet now. I re can I just say I really like being a lady robot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're good I hope it. I'm not doing it in an offensive way. I'm enjoying myself. No, an awful well lot. done. I don't think Can it's I be a lady says, robot? No, no, you're not. I don't think it's robot phobic at all, mate. <laughs> good. Ah, now to reveal the true invent in invitation, the true in intention. I invited you here. It's not to give you a bucket of nuclear space fuel <laughs> crystals at all. Onion. I want to lay eggs in your hair. <laughs> you what? I've already popped the nut out. I'm not pushing it back in. <laughs> <laughs> then I will cover your nut in this ceremonial poncho. Fucking try it, man. Well, how can this be? There are no holes in a poncho. You can't pop a nut through one, and yet your nut persists. <laughs> 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 Tell it to the nuts, three cheeks. <laughs> Enough. The location of one nut relative to your trousers is of no interest to me. I'm going to squirt a hundred gaily colored eggs into your beard. Not so fast, you strangely compelling monster. While Gav distracted you with his nut, I tied a double knot in your overposter. Let's see your egg bulb squirm to the end of that. <laughs> Look. Look, am I getting a blowy or not? <laughs> you, you idiot. This is a classic cartoon hosepipe situation. And even it now may exactly explode with the force of a thousand egg supernova. Then I will have lost my babies for no reason. I will have lost my love over nothing. And love, that love over nothing. Calculating love over nothing. What oh is no. love over nothing? That's a synonym, synonym for love divided by zero. As we've established, that means Matt's going to explode. <laughs> I suppose now's a bad time to tell you that our planet's made out of dynamite. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, gosh. Ah. This is so exciting. <laughs> this is like actually radio, but bad. <laughs> and naughty. So tell me we're back I on can't the actual ball. radio be bad and naughty. Okay. Scene three, back on the ship. That was excellent. Literally everything just exploded. It's a good job of being expecting a blowjob for so long. And my blue balls became infinitely dense and absorbed all the energy. <laughs> and using sci-fi, I harnessed that energy to refill our fuel tanks. And I finally learned that while I can't divide love by zero, I can divide it by two. You two. Yeah. What, what an ending. Oh. <laughs> Heartwarming, and Gav didn't beat up any women. Like Gav, him. you willfully fluffed your line, which Sorry. set up the divide by zero. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. But I was just wondering, how long have we got left? How, what time is it? 26 minutes past eight. Have oh, we shit. We, we need to stop soon, don't we? Let's what do shit? my feature. Do your feature. <laughs> I had more, best, loads, missed loads it. Loads good Bl stuff there. <laughs> hey, it's what's fine. a good jingle? We can do it another time. What's a good jingle? I want to do the James oh, Bond one. I've been thinking about it. James Bond? Yeah. Do it. Regular feature. 
creatures. We are best friends. But you wouldn't know because you've no friends. Right. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you can. And also, There's one go out to there. the bar. No, no, you can't go there. It's yeah, literally not our problem. <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Come on. Come on. We're going to have a stream of people now on the stage. It's about a, st a stage invasion, but we're not popular. They just go past us. We made yeah. such a bloody mess on this stage. Right. Yeah, have. And now it's time for Steve's regular feature. Steve's... Steve, 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 come on, Steve, Steve, come on, everybody. Everyone is, everyone's favourite. Fucking fuck come on, on, sing for him. <laughs> it's Steve's <laughs> elephant in oh. the room. And you know what? I moved my drink out of the way earlier because I was worried that I was going to go insane while seeing an you onion. You need to onion fuck yourself. <laughs> out of this. Come on, come on. Four people up. after that. I'm going to onion <laughs> fuck myself out of this man, sir. Okay, fine. It's about Steve now, Matt. Yep. Steve! As you all know, there is an elephant in the room. <laughs> um, today is 9-11. What? Uh, it's a very auspicious date, and I thought it's about time we addressed the elephant in the room. I have brought the elephant sure. with me. And the elephant is going to give you guys a quiz. <laughs> uh. That's right, Steve. I've got a regular features quiz. What is the size of an elephant? An elephant-sized regular features quiz. It's coming in to you in three bits. The first bit is going to be a guess what is guess what is the wrong thing of the facts that I say. The second bit, memory quiz. Have you got a memory of an elephant like me? Quiz bit number three is going to test your knowledge of elephants. <laughs> I think you'll find my ivory ruses, quite compelling. <laughs> Have fun, if you dare. Okay, so. <laughs> the elephant in the room has some quizzes for you. And the first of for, the three quizzes. Yeah, I'm the first of fucking potential <laughs> set you some tusks <laughs> pun. <laughs> Is this gonna happen? Go There's on, go going on. to be uh, uh, two lies and a truth. He's gonna tell you two facts Two lies about elephants and one truth about an elephant. And you have to tell me, we or the elephant, you. you guys have to tell me which one was, is the true one, okay? You guys ready? Yeah. Right, here is we go. It's all right, it's really warm. Here's fact number one. <laughs> elephants are born out of, inside of an egg. <laughs> true, okay? Everyone knows that's true. Wait till you hear all of them, wait till you hear all of them. So, yeah. elephants born out of an egg, or is it this one? Elephants have four molars. Each weighs about five kilograms and measures about 30 centimeters long. As the front pair wears down and drops out in pieces, the back pair moves forward and two new molars emerge in the back of the mouth. Elephants replace their teeth four to six times in their lifetime. At about 40 to 60 years of age, the elephant no longer has teeth and will likely die of starvation, a common cause of death. African elephants have 24 teeth in total, six on each quadrant of the jaw. <laughs> the enamel plates of the molars are fewer in number than in Asian elephants. Bollocks. Absolute bollocks. <laughs> that sounds very ridiculous. Okay, uh, and here is... Who's making that nonsense up? Here's fact number three. <laughs> <coughs> 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 elephants was invented by Ian Elephant. <laughs> What do you guys think? Which Ooh. one is it? <laughs> I actually saw a documentary about it. Last one. And it's, yeah, it's Ian Elephant invented the elephant. Ian Elephant. Who's here did. tonight? Stand up, <laughs> Ian. Yeah. Ian, come on. Let's give a round of applause to Ian. Brilliant. <laughs> Deal with your creation. <laughs> I like the elephant. He did a good job. Right, okay. So that's the, that's the trivia round passed. You now move on to the memory test. The Shit. elephant's going to tell you a story 
You're going to have to answer the questions about the story at the very end, okay? Oh, okay. So listen to what the elephant says and remember the details of the story. I, w I saw an <laughs> elephant once and it was... It w um, I saw this elephant. The elephant... Uh, the... Right. There was this elephant... You won't even. Oh, you won't even. The elephant was. Was um. How do I? How do I put it? The elephant. No, no, I've lost it. Sorry. Okay. All right. So, uh, what color was the elephant's hat? Oh, I know this. Uh... Trick question, there was no hat. Ah, fuck. The elephant's estranged mother had just returned from which sub-Saharan country? Uh, Wales? <laughs> it's not sub-Saharan. The little-known country of Wales in Africa. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, the elephant has something more to say to you now. Congratulations, regular features. You have passed my elephant quiz. <laughs> you have evaded my ivory ruses <laughs> and progressed to the final stage of the elephant quiz and ivory ruses that I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, that fucking elephant. <laughs> that trumpet sound cracks me up every time. <laughs> Okay, this is the final question. Pay close attention to the question. The, question, the elephant's going to give you four possible answers, and you have to tell me at the very end which one is the correct one. It's a difficult physics question. So mm. Pay close attention. What is the biggest, no, the largest of the... What would the <laughs> what would the equivalent be for an elephant if you were running at fifteen miles an hour and the elephant um in proportionally to you was six foot tall? Then what would be the biggest Speed in terms of size <laughs> that you could that you could reasonably expect to come out of that. If you the elephant was the size, uh, squid, um, um, Stop reduced, laughing at the elephant like, like minimized <laughs> down under a um, to like a human a like shoulder height, you know. <laughs> And that was the elephant. 15 miles an hour, U speed. Trans transpose that onto what an elephant would be able to do when it was normal size. Back down to you. What is the answer? Is it A, 17 miles an hour? B, 22 miles an hour? C, 70, 77 miles per hour? Or is it D, the um, 18 and a half miles per hour? You have 10 seconds remaining. What is it, guys? What is the answer? Can I, do we all have to agree on one or can we have one each? Just uh, give me an answer. C, 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 it's definitely C. C. Well, let's see what he says. That's correct. <laughs> well done. Now it's time for me to go. Thank you for having me. I have been the elephant in the room. And before I leave, can I just point out, today is the anniversary of one of the most tragic terrorist attacks in world history. It took place on September 11th, 2001, a day on which the Twin Towers were attacked and destroyed by two passenger planes taken hostage by al-Qaeda terrorists. I just thought I'd point that out before I go. 
Um, it's been a wonderful evening. Um, thank you all for coming. Thank you for taking part in my quiz, Log and Gav and Matt. I have been the elephant in the room. Thank you and good night. And I did, I did quite a good job. Adam says there, yeah. <laughs> I did quite a good job of keeping it straight for a while, but you broke me there. I'm, I'm just going to nick someone else's joke and say, you know the thing about elephants, yeah? They never forget. Oh. Never forget. Never forget. So, never forget. Uh, thank never you all for coming, forget. guys. Thank you very much yeah, for we've coming. We've had a really fun it. time. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you down there for a drink. If you like never to know what an onion smells like, then say hello. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much.